Hi, welcome back. Thanks for watching. I decided recently that I would uh, enhance my security for various website logins by using two-factor authentication. I decided not to use a phone-based authenticator and try and get away from having text messages sent to my mobile phone with security codes because it meant switching devices all the time backwards and forwards from a computer keyboard to my mobile device to get the codes to log in. So I found an easier solution and that's called a hardware security key. I purchased this hardware security key from Ubico and it's called a YubiKey. This particular model, hopefully you can see, it's a small hardware device that would fit easily on a key ring using the hole there. And it's about the size of a normal key. This is a USB-A model, although it will also fit into USB-C slots using a USB-A to USB-C adapter like I have here and which can be purchased from various stores on the internet and they roughly cost about five pounds for a pack of two. As I have both USB-C and USB-A slots on my computer, I decided to purchase a USB-A one, which is slightly less cost than what a USB-C model one would be. I would, however, recommend purchasing two YubiKeys at the same time. Unfortunately, I only purchased one and I will be purchasing a second one as a backup device and they do recommend that you have two just in case one gets lost or one gets damaged in any way although they are very very strongly made the plastic case is very solid and I don't think they could easily be broken I know people that have had these for over a year and are still working perfectly without any damage at all also on the YubiKey it's a gold ring with a Y symbol on it and that you would just touch when you are ready to authenticate your login. You don't have to touch this but there is an option in the application, the Ubico Authenticator application, whether you need to touch the gold ring in the centre or not to authorise logins. I have it set to enable me to actually have to touch the device in the center to authorize the login as an extra line of security. Unfortunately, I no longer have the box for my YubiKey, but let me show you a picture of one here and you can see how it arrives with the YubiKey in the packaging. Also, there's a picture here, which you can obviously see now, and it shows you two keys with the YubiKey on the key ring next to it and you can see the size of it is quite small. So without further ado let me take you into the YubiKey authenticator application and show you how to add website credentials to your hardware key. Before we do this although you won't be able to see me touching the gold ring Y symbol on the actual key when I'm showing you how to add websites and log in, I will be explaining when I'm doing this in the video. So without further ado, let me show you how to set up website credentials and add the accounts into the Ubico Authenticator application. So as you can see, I'm on the Ubico website, which is www.ubico.com. I then clicked on the support link and then clicked on downloads. It will then take you to the Ubico Authenticator option where you can download the Ubico Authenticator application. So just click download now and proceed to download the Authenticator to your PC, Mac or whichever system you're using, smartphone or Linux, for example. Once you have installed the Ubico application, you need to place your YubiKey in a USB-A or USB-C slot and then load up your Ubico 
Authenticator application, which should look like this, what's on the screen at the moment. Once you have done this, you need to click the menu option, the top left corner, which is the three horizontal lines. Click Authenticator to make sure you're in the correct page. Then once you've done that, you can add an account. To add an account, you need to click on the picture of the YubiKey in the top right corner here, and then click Add Account. Then you need to log in to one of your account websites as you would normally do. For example, here I'm using my google.com account. I then go down to click on security and then scroll down to two-step verification under the signing into Google option. Click on the line and then it will say two-step verification, protect your account with two-step verification. So click get started and then you can click show more options and then the options will pop up with security security key then it should take you into the window saying got your security key click next then it's asking to security key setup and this is a windows message that appears it might be different on a mac but there should be something similar click ok and click ok again and then it's asking me to touch my security key I can confirm that the light is flashing green on my YubiKey and I'm touching it now briefly for one second. Now it's saying that the security key has been registered and asking me to give it a name. So I will call it YubiKey5NFC FIPS and then click done. Now as a second verification login option I have the security key set in my Google account then when you've done that you can click sign out of your account I will also show you how to add other accounts into the YubiKey for example here I'm using my HMRC account so I'll click sign in enter my credentials to log in continue and then it's asking me to select which type of second or authentication I would like to use. So here I'm ticking authenticator app for smartphone or tablet, click continue and then continue again and now it's asking me to scan a barcode. So with my Ubico authenticator app open I will enter an issuer name of HMRC self-employment and then proceed to click on scan QR code, open up the window with the QR code, again select scan QR code and here you can see that it's now successfully scanned the QR code from the website successfully. So then click require touch which will put a tick in that box which means you have to touch the gold panel on the YubiKey to authenticate it and then click save. It's now added one of the accounts to the list and as you can see from the menu I've just selected under add account it's showing I've got one of 32 accounts available which means that I can store 32 accounts in my authenticator and YubiKey. Once you have finished, once you've finished adding the account you can then click continue and then the website is now asking for a security code. So back in the Ubico Authenticator application, if I select the account I want to reveal the code for, then touch the Y symbol with the green flashing light on the YubiKey, it then provides me with an authorization code. If I click the green button, it will copy it to the clipboard I can then go back to the website and paste the code into the access code box, click continue. 
Now it's asking me to create a name for my authenticator app. So I will call it UB key 5 NFC FIPS and click continue. Then every time I sign in to this government account, it will ask me for my username, password, and also the one-time password code generated from my YubiKey. I will now log out of my account. And that's how easy it is to add an account to your Yubico Authenticator. So when you're ready to add another account, you click more actions at the top, click add account, enter the name of the issuer, anything you like, and then click scan QR code, but make sure the QR code is actually open on the website and it's open on your screen. Then you should scan QR code. It should then automatically enter a secret key, click require touch and then click save. And that's it done. A great little device and it enhances security even more and better than using a mobile phone authenticator app, which if your mobile phone gets stolen or hacked, someone could probably easily access your accounts. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Please stay tuned for further videos coming up, hopefully in the next week or two. Thanks for watching.